Hi everybody, welcome back. We're at the ARM TechCon 2010, and my guest right now today is David Gilday. Hi, uh, Sean. Uh, that rhymes. <laughs> uh, David, uh, you have, and your team have created this Android SuperCuber. This is a really amazing. Now, this has over a million hits uh, on YouTube, and is like one of the hits of the uh, uh, of the tech uh, TechCon here. Thank you. The ARM TechCon. So, can you talk a little bit about? How this was developed, when it was developed, and the uh, the, the application behind it. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a chat. So I started doing these about two years ago. I built several different robots. This particular Lego robot was built, I think, in about April. We started off with a slightly different phone, but we've recently moved to, we're using a Nexus One mobile phone running mm -hmm. Android. The reason that we chose this phone is because of the, um, the amount of memory and the processing performance of the phone. But I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So we take a standard Rubik's Cube, which is shuffled. Um, the robot itself is built entirely out of Lego. These are Lego Mindstorms controllers. Uh, they have an ARM7 processor in them. Um, the Nexus One phone has its, um, a Qualcomm Snapdragon running at about a gigahertz with half a gigabyte of RAM. There's an application that runs on the phone. It uses the, the phone's camera, as you can see, pointing downwards at the cube. And it's taking, and it's taking, it's taking a snapshot of each of the faces. Okay. It uses Bluetooth to communicate with these Mindstorms controllers. It's the controllers that are actually manipulating the motors. Once it's taken all the pictures, it does a little bit of image processing to work out where the pieces are, samples the colors, mm -hmm. works out the solution, and here we go with the solution. So the algorithm I use originally was written in Java. Most applications running on the Android platform are written in Java using the Android SDK. The core solving algorithm needs quite a lot of processing time um, to generate a fast solution. So I'm now using the Android NDK, that's the native version development kit. So the core solver, there you go, solved it in about 16 seconds. 16 seconds, the average is about 15. It's about 15, yes. So look at this, this is amazing. Combination of the Android, your computing system, Thank you very much. <laughs> the ARM uh, chip, and uh, Lego. Is yeah. that it? Yeah, and just for good measure, the time we use, one of the demo guys put a Cortex M3 in it, so there are three different ARM processes involved in it. It's all about ARM here at the ARM TechCon. Thank you so much, Thanks David. Thanks for having me, Sean. All right. Good talking to you. Yes.